Iron Mike Tyson, one of the most feared fighters to ever enter the ring because of his awesome punching power and its ability to knock his opponents asleep on the canvas. And when he couldn't, well, he'd gnaw on them like he was a zombie working on overtime, but that's much later on and I digress. His punches were simply blunt force trauma. You look at it on YouTube now and it's power and poetry. It's just awesome. And if there was ever a machine to liken to that kind of power, it'd be this, the 2018 Ford Mustang GT Convertible. Now, the entire front clip is all sorts of yabang really, but in a good way. It's got an awesome honeycomb exhaust on the hood, all LED affair up front, a massive grill, and cuts that could shape the air like it would butter. I only have one qualm, however, the plastic pony up front. See, I was kind of hoping that it would be metal, but then again, if it were, it probably gets stolen a lot. Now, the two-door four-seater has got some character lines down the side, which add to its very masculine, very strong look. It also has signal lights on the side mirror, which are mounted on the door rather than on the sill. Now, it's got disc brakes all around and stands on very sexy 19-inch blacked-out rims, which are fitted with 40-series tires. Now, up front, the width is 255, whereas the back, the width is 275. Oh, and uh, cheap thrill capless fuel system. <laughs> I love it. Now the rear clip, there's really not much to talk about. It's actually pretty simple really. Two massive rear taillights that double as your brake and signals. Uh, you've got your reverse light down here incorporated with a rear fog lamp. You've got a twin quad exhaust and a reverse camera that knows how to play incognito a hell of a lot more than the nav because that thing well, it needs to visit either Bella or Dr. Pimple Popper stat because no. The secret, but not so secret, button reveals 350 liters of space or roundabout. Now that space doesn't change whether the top is up or down because Ford has already made a provision for it. Now that space equates to about two average size suitcases or one Vincent. No? But doing. Ooh, worth mentioning, there is an 8 inch subwoofer in here because whether you're 18 or 81, everyone still got a little bio in them. Oops, oops. Oh, by the way, we're supposed to do the interior now, but it is just way too hot out here. Let's go look for some shade. Now, that subwoofer is one of 12 speakers that can be found all around the cabin, including premium leather and some plastics like this silver textured one that can be found on the dash. The instrument cluster is a 12-inch screen, yep, a foot-long all-digital screen that you can customize with any gauge that you want and change the colors depending on your mood. Well, not much back here, just two seats and not much anything else really. Some legroom, and I do mean some legroom, and that's my normal driving position. No toys, no cup holders, speakers on either side, but that's really just about it. I feel as if the two people up front were nice enough to give me a lift, they really want to say is get out third wheel, which by the way is not the easiest thing to do. See both seats fold very quickly and manually, but the rest of it is all power options, so that might take some time. Now getting out with the roof down, obviously no problem, with the roof up, ah. There's also an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system that doubles as your reverse camera and a myriad of buttons and toggles that will probably rival the control tower at Hoover Dam. Now, the most fun of those switches is that of the active valve performance exhaust, which allows you to control the tune that comes out of the back and has several settings. The settings available are pointless, 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 and why the hell not?
Ooh. For the most part, I'd say that this is a proper Mustang. Well, for the Philippines anyway, with regard to that 10-speed automatic transmission. It's a V8, 5-liter, 460 horsepower, 507 newton meters of torque engine. None of that 2.3-liter EcoBoost. I got nothing against it. But if you're worried about gas consumption, which, by the way, it can do 12.9 on the highway, which we clocked it on the way out. If that's your main concern, then yeah, this car is really not for you and you're really missing the point. Now, I feel as if that the 19-inch tires are a very nice touch. They could have easily put 20s on this guy and reduced the thickness to 35. But the 19-inch tires give the car a very soft ride. Now, it's not going to turn on a dime. I mean, it does weigh over 3,600 pounds. But it communicates with the road very, very well without the stiffness of a sport suspension. I like it. And it drives really well. Obvious as the nose on your face, this ragtop GT is really not the best car for the streets of Metro Manila. But outside the city, here amongst the shadow of the trees, oh, the lonely roads of a Monday morning, this, this is where a Mustang belongs. Where your troubles and strife are drowned out by the tune of a quad exhaust. Yeah, this, this is where it belongs. Woo! This Kona Blue 2018 Ford Mustang 5.0 V8 GT convertible has a sticker price of 3,678,000 Philippine pesos. Now, it's probably not gonna be the first car in your garage and possibly not even your second, could be your third or your fourth. But at that price point, with these good looks and that engine, I figure you should make space, because it's a knockout. 